So in terms of any other um, stories or graphics, um, I think this one tells a really direct story. It's really clear to get the information out of it. Um, are there any examples that you have where that's not the case? Let's say um, the data visualization is misleading. Yeah, absolutely. So one repeat offender when it comes to breaking rules of data visualization is Fox News. Uh, we'll look here at an example that I typically look at in my workshops. So here what we're looking at, we have to imagine ourselves back in the fall of 2012. And we're looking forward to 2013 to say what's going to happen if the tax cuts expire. So on the left hand side, we have what the top tax rate is now at 35%. On the right hand side, what it'll go to as of January 1st at 39.6%. Uh, Do you notice any issues with this graph? Um, I should, I guess, be worried because there's a big gap difference between the two bars. Yeah, your data spidey sense is probably going off here, right? Because this increase looks huge. Why does it look huge? Um, for me, it's the, the length of the bar. The one on the right is much bigger than the one on the left. Yeah, and if we look at the details here, which are small and off to the right, maybe so that we miss them, it's because our y-axis doesn't start at zero. Mm -hmm. It starts at 34, which means the way this is plotted, the visual increase between the two is 460% versus the actual increase. If we plot this, you know, with the bars going all the way down to where they should be, the increase is something like 13%. So the specific rule that Fox News is breaking here is bar charts must have a zero baseline. When we're looking at bar charts, what our eyes are doing are comparing the endpoints of these bars. So it's actually really important to have the entire context of the bar there to do that in uh, the right way. More generally, this brings into question sort of ethical concerns, right? Mm. And um, the breaking the rule here also, don't lie with data. So beyond ethical concerns, it's just a really dangerous space to play in because all it takes is that one discerning audience member to say, hey, yeah, but that y-axis doesn't start at zero, and whatever message you're trying to communicate then gets thrown out the window. Well, I know this was probably true for bar charts with like the perception that we have here. Are there any cases where we don't necessarily have to start the y-axis at zero? Yeah, with line charts, you can get away with not starting at zero. You still want to be very careful when doing so um, because our eyes are comparing sort of the relative points in space um, rather than to an axis the way that they are with bar charts. Um, in general, you want to try to make it clear to your audience that you're doing that uh, and not zoom in so far that you're making minor changes appear to be really big, right? So you want to take the context of what it is you're showing into account there.